welcome back to this week's Real Pro Tips. It's Jess Preventure here, and I have a really exciting topic today. It is inspections. So what can you expect when you go into an inspection? You've put in your offer, you've negotiated, the seller has finally accepted, and now it is time to go into the house for inspections. It is an exciting time for buyers and also super nerve-wracking. So at the inspection, you can be um, expecting to go in and be in the home for roughly two hours, give or take, based on the size and age of the home and how unique it is. Your general inspector is someone who knows a little bit about a lot of things. They do have to get certified in the state and licensed in New Hampshire, so you know that they've been through proper training. They will go through the property from top to bottom, opening every window, closing every door, checking all the major systems, taking a look at all the outside, including the roof and the chimney. Um, and just kind of checking everything out. And then they're gonna flag any concerns that they see. These could be minor concerns, like aging um, or weathering, or they could be major concerns, like a leak or a roof that needs to be replaced. You'll have a separate inspector if you are on private septic. Um, and that is super important because your septic system is a major system that can cost a lot of money should it need to be replaced. When the septic inspector comes in, they are gonna dig up both the tank and the leach field and check them for a number of things to make sure that they are um, performing as they should be and that there's no concerns. They give you a formal write-up and that goes pretty quick. They just dig it up, look, sometimes they snake it with a, a camera and have they flush the toilet a couple times and that's it, they write it up. It's quick and easy and you get the information relatively quickly. Same thing with your water. You wanna do some water tests if you're on a private well. It is super important that not only do you have potable water, but that there's no contamination in there. No bacteria, no arsenic, radon are common in New Hampshire, and there are systems that you can put into place to filter that stuff out. But that's something that you wanna know before you move forward with the purchase of the home. So those are the major inspections that pretty much everybody has. You can also have a separate um, water pump place come to, if you have a private well to check out your pumping system and make sure that the well pump is working um, properly. Same thing with chimneys. If you have um, actual active um, chimneys or pellet stoves or wood burning fireplaces, it is helpful to have a separate chimney person come out and take a good look and make sure, especially because that's a safety concern. So you're given all of this information, which especially for first time buyers can be super overwhelming because it's like, oh my God, this isn't a GFCI and this is the, and it just seems like you're picking that house apart. It is important to note that every home comes with some issues. In fact, that's part of home ownership. It's regular maintenance and keeping up with these things. So the, it, the topics that you wanna negotiate at the time of inspection are significant, which could be um, described as significant due to cost or it could be due to safety, um, undisclosed, meaning if it's already been disclosed, that's not something you can usually negotiate on. For example, if you are told that a tank um, water heater is 10 years old, they usually only last eight, it's at the end of its life, but it's still functioning, that's disclosed at, to you prior to the offer and not necessarily something you'd negotiate on unless it was not working. So significant undisclosed issues that are related to health and safety primarily. And those are issues that you can potentially go back to the seller and negotiate on, or it's just good information to have for you to properly budget moving forward in terms of what you need to be fixing in the, in the recent times. So though the inspection can be super scary and overwhelming, it is an important part of the process. And myself and my partners will be there to support you every step of the way. Continue to dream big and remember, we can help make that dream home a reality.